Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and today I have an exciting half-off Goodwill haul. So once a month in Colorado, the Goodwills are half-off. It's the first Saturday of every month. Um, so this Saturday happened to be February 1st, the 1st of February, which I can't believe it's February. I feel like January lasted an eternity, <laughs> but I'm excited it's February. So um, I have a bunch of stuff. I went to five different Goodwill stores and one little charity shop that was also half off that was next to a Goodwill. So everything was a pretty good deal and I got some really exciting stuff. And today is Monday. I went shopping on Saturday and I kind of forgot some of what I got because I kind of just am in the zone when I'm thrifting and um, get home and yeah kind of forget what I even got to be honest I remember a couple good things in there but I'm excited to relive all my good finds with you guys and show you some hopefully new to you brands or just entertain you while you're listening so I'm just going to get into it um, I spent just over $200 total it was like 225 um, and I drove quite a bit. Um, there's only one Goodwill like right down the street from me. All the other Goodwills I drove about an hour away to go to. So, yes. Um, all right, I'm just gonna start with bag number one. Okay, first is this um, Brioni men's dress shirt. And this is a really good men's brand. I've only sold it one time. And it was actually a cashmere sweater from the bins. It sold for $120, like almost overnight. Um, this is just a men's dress shirt, but still, this retailed for about $400, which is insane. And I should be able to get $40 to $50 for it. And the price I paid, it was half of $7.99, so I paid $4. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. All right. Oh, this is another exciting find. I've only found this brand once. I don't think I've ever found this sub brand of it though. So it is Album by Kenzo. And Kenzo is a very high end brand. Um, they're known for like their lion head sweatshirts. Um, those are probably the most popular. And this was half of $6.99. So <laughs> math, <laughs> $3.50. But it's just this really cute linen button down shirt. It's perfect for spring. It's a really nice bright color. And yeah. Um, these looked like they were selling for about $40. But this is an excellent condition. So I had to grab it. That's one thing I love about shopping in actual Goodwill stores is I feel like the condition is overall typically better than um, the bins. So it's exciting to get some nice pieces that are pretty much just ready to list. Um, this is a really nice catalog brand I like to pick up. It is Jay Peterman. And this looks like a newer piece. It's like this little collared, button down, polka dot shirt. Um, it was also half of $6.99, $3.50. But just a really classic piece. And sometimes these do have the style names on them. This one does not, but. I think this will do good. Probably about like $30 to $40 is what I'll hope for. There's a receipt. And what are you? Okay, so <laughs> I actually didn't even know what this was. I didn't even look at the tag. I just like picked it up because I'm like, oh, maybe my husband will want this. I honestly thought this was the brand, Gray Salt. Um, yeah, now I'm just confused. Okay, it's actually a page button-down shirt. So, that's nice. It's really soft, but it honestly, it looked like a men's shirt. It's just very oversized. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm alright with the page shirt. I don't know if this would be considered new with tags. I'll have to see what this company is. Because it has a $150 price tag on the back, which is insane. Um, but this was half of $8.99, so $4.50. And this is probably not going to my husband now because it is, I think, a women's piece. I don't know. I have to do some research, but glad I picked it up nonetheless. 
Um, this is just a pretty basic Athleta shirt, but I think this is the newer tag of Athleta. So I decided to pick it up. Um, it's just kind of like an asymmetrical gray t-shirt. It was $2.50 after the discount. I'm curious what year this is from. I think it's pretty current. Um, spring of 2018. So if you didn't know, there's these little tags on the interior that'll tell you the date typically on athletic pieces. So I'll probably get like $20 for that, but Athleta stuff sells pretty quickly for me, so I got it. Um, this is another brand I like to pick up. It is Aloe Yoga, and this is just a pair of purple Capri leggings, like athletic leggings with little mesh cutouts. Super fun. Um, I paid half of $6.99, so $3.50. Looks like the size tag has been removed from these because they have the tearaway tag, kind of like Lulu Lemon has, but um, I'll probably get like 20 to $25 for these. And they look like probably a medium, but I'll have to measure them. All right, done with that bag. Okay, this is a couple things I actually went back for the day after half off day, so yesterday. Um, I had saw this dress like early in the morning. This was my first stop and I looked up really quick comps, but I was not sure about it and I hadn't had coffee. Yet. <laughs> so I ended up putting it back and I instantly regretted it. So I went back yesterday to pay full price for it. Um, it is a city chic, not front teal dress. It is so cute and I've never picked up this brand, but I saw people posting about it on Instagram right after I passed it up and instantly regretted it. So this is a size medium, which is a size 18. So it's a plus size. And this is still in stores for $100. And this is new with tags. So um, this actually looked like it was sold out on most of the websites I looked at, at least in this color. So I had to go back yesterday and grab it. And I also found a couple more things. So these are the only ones that were full price. That was $8 that. Um, so another thing I picked up when I went to grab that dress is this Brooks Brothers 346 100% leather coat. It's gorgeous and Brooks Brothers jackets have been doing really well for me. I just sold one for $70 that it was just like a bomber jacket. It didn't have any special material and this was just a buttery soft leather jacket so I had to get it. It was a little bit more expensive $12.99 but honestly, that's a pretty good price for a leather jacket at my Goodwill. Usually they price them ridiculously high, like $40 to $50. So I definitely had to scoop this one up. Um, it has like very minor wear. I can't even find it. Like, like little nick, but it's really gorgeous. Um, I think I'll be able to get like at least $60 to $75 for this coat. It's a size... 12 too, which is an awesome size. Had to grab that. Yeah, they definitely were putting out a lot of stuff at my Goodwill the day after half off day. So maybe that's a little tip for you. Hit up the Goodwill after half off because it looks like they were setting some stuff aside to put out after half off day was over. Um, so this is a pair of Fly London adorable lace up wedge shoes. Uh, Fly London is known for like this wedge, you can see the little fly. Um, these are in really good condition and they were $14.99, definitely paid up, but I should be able to get like 40 to 50 for them. Um, what size are they? I'm trying to see, I cannot find a size, oh wait, they're there. It's a size 41, so that's either like a 10 and a half or 11. I don't remember. I'll have to look at their size chart. But yeah, had to pick those up. Okay. Those were the only full price things <laughs> that were mixed in here. Everything else was half off. Um, this was really exciting. I don't find this brand often, but I get excited when I do. This is a Ghani 
um, like a textured fit and flare black dress. And in the past when I've picked up this brand, it's been uh, like really bright, bold patterns. So I really don't know how a black dress will do, but this is a good brand. If you see it, definitely pick it up. Um, I'm not sure what size it is, but I paid half of $5.99, so about $3. And the last dresses I've gotten from this brand, they've sold for like $90 to $100. I don't know if this one will sell for that much, but we'll see. Alright, this is a pair of Elevensies from Anthropology. They're trouser pants. And I just sold a very similar pair of these for like $25. And these are in excellent condition, so I had to grab them. They're just a wide leg cuffed trouser. They're a size six, and I paid half of $4.99, so $2.50. And they should do well. It's like a very classic piece. This is a brand I'm getting pickier um, with the pieces that I pick up, but it is Wilfred Free, which is sold at Aritzia. And it's just a really fun drawstring dress. I thought it would be a really cute like swim cover up, but you could also just wear it. You could like dress it up. It has pockets. Um, it is a size medium. And it was half of $5.99, so $3. And I should be able to get like probably around $30. All right, another bag down. This is a free people sweater and this store definitely <laughs> marks up free people. It was $11.99 so I paid half of that but I thought it was a really cute piece. Um, what is that? Okay that'll come off. It looks like toothpaste or something. This one's gonna have to get washed but <laughs> it is a cowl neck sleeveless sweater. I'll show you the pretty side because that's kind of gross. I didn't notice that in the store, but oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like the color. I like how it had like little side slits and it should do pretty good. It's a size small, but definitely we know free people smalls fit very oversized. This would probably fit like up to a large. Another free people piece from that same store. Um, what I like about shopping on Half Off Day at Goodwill is a lot of the stores will be bringing out brand new racks when everything's half off. So that's really awesome because you can find some really amazing pieces that have never been on the floor before. So that's what happened at this store for me. Um, it's another free people piece and they did price it again at $11.99. Size small. But it is a gorgeous velvet printed baby doll shirt. It's like a tunic and it's so cute. I think this will do really good. It has like little bell sleeves and oh it looks like there's like a little drawstring on the bell sleeve too. I don't know. I had to pick this up. I thought it was adorable and I think it might be good. You know what I just noticed? Obviously I did not look over these pieces before checking out because there's a flaw. I have a couple things I need to drop off on a seamstress, so <laughs> this is going in that pile, but darn. There always has to be one flawed item at least. Hopefully that is all there is. <laughs> okay. This is a Holding Horses. It's an anthropology brand. Little blue patterned short sleeve blouse. Definitely like a tunic length, it's a size extra small. And I paid $3 after the discount. And I'll probably get around like 25 to 30 for this. It just kind of depends on the style. I'll have to see how this one's doing, but it was a cute piece. I thought it was nice for spring. Oh, and it has pockets. So. We love a piece with pockets. All right, this was also on one of the new racks that they had just rolled out. It is a Lululemon 
really cute, um, kind of like a eyelet lace tank top. And the bottom is like kind of scalloped as well. There's the logo. The logo is like a little faded. It actually kind of looks holographic. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Interesting. <laughs> this looks like an interesting piece. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. And I know the tank tops usually don't do as well, but I only paid $2.50. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And I have no idea what size it is. Okay, this was really exciting and actually my first time ever finding this brand new with tags. So, this Lululemon and this is the Day Tripper dress. So, when I was checking out, the lady checking me out was telling me that she had just put this on the dress rack and I was like, oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you did while I was here because somebody else would have scooped this up in a second if they saw it. I just happened to be there at the right time. It definitely needs to be steamed. But look at this open keyhole back. It's not showing up as blue as it really is, but it is adorable. And it's size four. And I paid half of $15.99, so like $8. And these look like they're selling for around $75, so. Very exciting find. First time ever finding Lulu with tags, so yay. Definitely one of my favorite finds. Okay, this is another find and I have a little story. So when I first went into this Goodwill, it was so packed that I couldn't grab a cart. There was no carts and I just had to grab everything I possibly could on my arm and then <laughs> go to my car, well, check out, go to my car, drop everything off and then go back in. So I really did not have a hand open to look for comps and see what anything was worth. Um, but I saw this on a new rack and I knew it had to be worth something. Just, just look at it. So it's a Pink Floyd, the wall, and it's by Dragonfly Clothing Company. And it's a size extra large. Awesome size. But look at this shirt. Look at the graphic on it. It's incredible and it's all over. It's awesome. And um, it's a little tag right here. This is an amazing find. I looked it up as soon as I got in the car, just because I had to know. I knew it was worth something. But um, some of these are selling for like 75 to to $100. So yes, trust your gut on certain pieces and typically you will not be disappointed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was really excited about this. Should be a very quick flip and I paid half of $6.99 for it, so super exciting. All right, moving on to another bag. All right, this is a trip. Oh, you can see that there's a dry cleaning tag. Let me just rip that off. Oh, and I ripped the price tag off with it. So this was uh, $3, half of $5.99, but it is a trip um plaid jackets and this is a really good i guess gothic brand is the best way i could describe it has little zippered sleeves this does really well for me on ebay but i've also sold it on poshmark but i think this one will do really well uh, it's a size extra large women's which is an awesome size and i'll probably price this around 40 dollars see what happens Got some really fun like spring and summer pieces in here so definitely excited to get those up this is a brand i love to sell on ebay it is jams world i personally love this brand too just because their prints are so fun um they're very like hawaiian and tropical this is just a little mini dress with palm trees and flowers and all that fun stuff it is a size extra small oh it actually has um I'm assuming that's the fabric title or maybe the dress. It's called the Tropical Breeze print. So that's exciting. That'll make it easy to list. Um, but typically I get around like $30 for these. It just kind of depends on the style. So I'm excited to look this one up. 
I don't know if I said how much I paid for that. Oh, this store actually had their dresses kind of high. It was half of $8.99. So $4.50. This video is testing my math ability, which is not the best. <laughs> um, okay, this is a anthropology Valletta dress. And again, these dresses were all priced at $8.99, so it was kind of high, even with the half off discount. But this looked like a faux wrap dress, and I know everyone loves their wrap dresses right now, so had to give her a shot. Um, it's a size extra small. And yeah, it's really soft. So I'll probably get like 25 to 30 for it. All right. What are you? Okay, this is just a um, neon, wow, really bright, <laughs> Athleta. It's like a corally pink, uh, extra small, like half zip kind of meshy material. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it has a logo on the back. It's in excellent condition. I am pickier with like Athleta stuff that I pick up even on half off day, but this style I've sold multiple times before for about $25. So I paid $3 for it. And I feel like this color is really nice for spring. So somebody will want it. Okay, this is a new to me brand that looked really good. It is, <laughs> see if I can read, Ebbetsfield flannels. And it is made in Seattle, Washington. It also has a made in the USA tag, so I knew I had to look it up. It's a very like heavy duty sweatshirt. And it says, does it say always fresh? I'm trying to read backwards. <laughs> Um, with a little crab on it and I do need to pill shave this a little it looks like the letters are in wool so there's like a little bit of pilling but these do good um, I'm assuming it depends on the graphic there was all sorts of different ones but they sell for like $75 which is crazy but it definitely like you can feel the quality in this it's very heavy very nicely made and I paid $2.50 really excited about that. I always get excited when I find brands that I've never found before, especially when they're worth a good amount of money. Um, this is cute. This is a newer cabbie piece and it's a size extra large and it was half of $8.99 because it's a dress. It has this little lace up detail and it's like a dark navy and white stripe and this should do really good and the thing I love about cabbie pieces is they always have the style on the inside so I can easily just pop this in to Google and see what exactly the piece is called yeah that one should do good this is another cabbie piece also an extra large probably from the same person. And this is a gray ruched tank dress. Perfect for spring and summer. Again, it was half of $8.99 and should sell very quickly. I think both of these dresses will probably sell in like the $40 range, but I'll have to look up the style to see for sure. <laughs> okay, and that bag is done. On to the next. There's a lot. This is going to be a long video. Um, but I got a lot of good stuff, so I am excited. Uh, this is a oh, J by J Crew. I don't know if I've ever seen that tag. But it looked newer to me, so I had to look in the interior. And this is a, I think it was a spring 2019 piece, but I will double check. It's this really pretty tied wrap dress. Again, perfect for spring and summer. Somebody's gonna need this. It's a size extra small. And let me double check the date. It is, yeah, from spring 2019. So it's a very current piece within the last year. And I think it should do good. Hopefully around like 35, maybe more. We'll see. Um, this is a pair of J. Crew Factory 
in games and they are distressed with a split knee. They're supposed to be that way. I double checked. Um, and these are a more recent style as well. They're from summer of 2018. So it's been the last couple years and they're in really good shape. They're size 26 and how much did I pay? Half of $8.99. And that's also how much I paid for that last dress. Realized I didn't say that. All right. Last thing from that store. I only got a couple things from that one is a pair of shoes I need to clean up a little bit but was very excited to find. These are a pair of men's hokas. Um, I actually saw a man looking at these and thankfully he put them down and did not want them because I wanted them <laughs> and um, they're in pretty good shape overall. I've sold hokas that are thrashed and they still sell um, but these are in overall pretty good condition. I'll just have to clean them up a little bit. Um, what is the style of these? Typically it'll say on the tongue, but I don't see it on these. So hopefully if they're a good style, I'll get around like $50. And they're a men's size 13. I think they're called the Vista. Maybe. I don't know. Or that's the color. That's what they say on the tag. So those will do good. to the next okay this is a white house black market dress and this is the newer tag so I grabbed it um, I paid half of $5.99 this is a size too petite and this is like a really heavy dress it's like quality um, but it's a little navy keyhole front it's pretty little slit sleeves and it's just like a fit and flare dress to be perfect for work. And I'm assuming this was sold fairly recently. This looks like it was never worn and looks newer. I don't know if all of these have dates on them. No, this one doesn't. It has a style number, but we'll see. It's fully lined, super cute, and I got a really good deal on it. so definitely be able to sell it for at least like $25. This is a really exciting cabbie piece. Um, it's a size large and it's this gorgeous, ooh, oversized, it's gonna be hard to show you, pan trench coat. But it's really pretty and I was kind of feeling around. It felt like there were some tags in there. Maybe not. No, it's just a style tag. I thought maybe it was new with tags. It's in excellent condition regardless. And I think this piece is a good one. Um, it just looks like a staple cabbie piece that people would pay a lot for. Maybe like $75. Maybe I'm crazy. But we'll see. I need to look it up. Um, it has a style on it course like cabbie pieces do it's a style or style number 3037 so I will look it up after this video hopefully she's worth a pretty penny uh, I paid half of $12.99 totally worth it this will do good I kind of like want this coat for myself it's really nice you could totally dress this up and down I like it so I got it I have sold this dress a couple times. It is, I knew what it was even before I looked at the tag, just by the feeling. Um, it's an Athleta, size 14, little halter dress with zippered pockets. I don't remember the style name off the top of my head, but I've sold this multiple times. So I know it does good. It's like a moisture wicking material and in really good condition. I paid half of $5.99. are you okay this is a brand that's sometimes sold at anthropology but I've actually sold their pieces that are not sold at anthropology just as well it is Weston wear this is a really pretty printed maxi dress 
this is gonna do good I think this will sell for like around $40 but I love it it's a size medium I paid three dollars and it's gorgeous I'm really excited to get this stuff listed just to like look up the style names and see the stock photos and stuff oh this I was so excited about and even more excited when I got in my car and saw that it was brand new um, so this is just an adorable bag in general it's like very current style with a little hoop um, I don't know what you'd call this <laughs> hoop handles um, and it's a leather bag and it is I don't want to rip out the tag okay let's see if I can show this to you without ripping it out this is gonna be a challenge mm, no no there you go <laughs> It is a J. Crew, brand new with tags, little satchel bag, and it's so cute. If I needed another purse, this would not be being sold. Be this would not be sold. I don't know. My English is struggling today, <laughs> but um, I paid half of thirteen ninety nine. That was upside down, <laughs> and I love it. I don't need to keep it so I will sell it I think it'll sell well I can't even tell there's not a retail price on this tag I wonder what year it's from the tag is like very far in there so it's hard to see it's from spring of 18 this is adorable I think I'll at least get $50 for it love it okay so everything from that store Oh, got this behemoth of a bag. Got a lot from this place. All right, on to the next bag. This is probably one of the better stores I went to. Um, okay, so I was excited to find these just because they're half off, Eileen Fisher. And then I discovered they're brand new with tags and that made it instantly a million times more exciting. The retail on these, $228, which is absurd. Um, but yeah, it's just a pair of Eileen Fisher stretchy, I think they're brown, like a dark chocolate brown pants. And these were only $4.99 and then half off $2.50. Hello. This store definitely did not price based on the retail tags. And I'm very thankful for that because most of the Goodwills by me, if they saw $228 on um, this tag, they would price it at like 50 at least. So I was really excited to find those and they will do good. Another really exciting find. So I was just excited about these in general. Um, they are the Hey Hey, can you see that? Anthropology, No Wanderer. It's these like green cargo tie dye looking capris. And then on the back, they still have the tag on them. So that's really exciting. They're size 25. And I don't think they have the interior tags, but yeah, super exciting. And they were half of $6.99. Cute. Okay, these are fun. I've sold these before and they sell very well. This is a pair of Athleta. These are like new. They're very wrinkly on the front, but you can tell these were like barely ever worn just based on the logos on the back and the inside, but they are this faux leather athletic legging and they are incredible. I could not believe these were still there, but again, these were rolled out on a new rack before I got there. They had like 10 new racks around the store, so I guess I was there at the right time. It was half of $4.99 amazing I'll get at least like 30 to 40 for these love them this is a pair of soft surroundings lounge pants and they are like a taupey brownish gray color um, I don't know I like getting soft surroundings especially when it's cheap it was two dollars and fifty cents so I think these will do good it's a nice lounge pants 
and they're in really good condition so I grabbed them where's the top okay um, this is a Matilda Jane size medium striped fit and flare dress with like this little mesh hem peeking out super cute I like selling Matilda Jane kids and adults and where's the price oh there it is this was half of $8.99 Really cute piece again perfect for spring and summer another soft surroundings piece and this is a size medium it's a really cool like green printed it's kind of like a gauzy material but it's it's pretty thick and it's just a button-down tunic blouse I also like soft surround oh, it's a I guess it's a half button down but I also like soft surroundings pieces because they typically have style names, which just makes listing a whole lot easier. And a lot of people will look for that particular style. So just look on the interior and you'll be able to find what the style is. Definitely put that in your listing because people will get these catalogs and they'll want a particular piece. So they'll look it up by name. These are my size, but I really don't need more leggings. And again, these are like new. A pair of Athleta, size extra large. Like these front and zippered pocket. They're like a taupey, brownish gray color. They're cute. They have like these little side slits. I don't need them, <laughs> but um, yeah. We'll look up the comps. I'm sure they're really good. These look very current. Let me check on the inside. Yeah, spring of 2018, but these look barely worn so I think these will do really good I don't see an Athleta logo on the outside of them but these are almost like a more casual everyday pants but they're definitely like still an athletic material and how much did I pay hold on half of $6.99 steal those will do really good I really don't need to keep them but I want to uh, okay, this is a Madewell shirt, which honestly isn't very exciting, but it'll sell, <laughs> and it was half off. It's just a, like, off-white and forest green windowpane plaid button-down shirt. It is half of Ooh, this is exciting this was on a new rack as well it is CP shades which is always a bolo brand this one does so good and this is a linen tunic it's very wrinkly <laughs> like linen gets but this will do very well it's like a perfect little swim cover-up very like beachy I say tunic but it almost looks like a dress but I think it's more of a tunic um, and it was half of $7.99 and typically the size is on the inside on these yes size extra small see that there we go super exciting find I'll probably get around like sixty dollars for this maybe more I don't know I have to look up comps Ooh. it's another brand I really like finding it is True Grit, definitely like a mountainy kind of brand. This is so soft. It's a little, is it a zip up jacket? No, it has buttons. Hopefully it has them all because I definitely did not <laughs> look that over at the store. Okay, perfect. We have all the buttons. They're all intact. And another reason I like this brand, again, is because they typically have the style right on the inside. So this is the Cashmere 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 pile alcott coat and it's a size small so it's like this little corduroy collar i think this will do good that's why i got it and i don't know how much it was because i keep forgetting to look at the price tags Ugh. half of 4.99 that is a steal for a coat the store had really good pricing i'll definitely be back 
Um, this is a really fun Prana athletic dress. I am pickier with the Prana dresses I pick up, but this should do really good. It's really nice, like minty color and size medium. Has a built-in bra. Really good condition. The only thing is like some of the letters have peeled off. Looks like it says ran, but that's okay. <laughs> People get, get the point. And this was half of $4.99, so real good price. This is another exciting new with tags find. And typically I only get J Jill in bigger sizes, but this was brand new and really cute, so I couldn't say no. Uh, it's a size small, but it's this like textured open front coat. And this was priced really well I remember yeah half of $6.99 for new with tags J Jill cannot say no this will do well I'll have to look up the style but hopefully around like $40 maybe a little more maybe a little less probably around there it's a great eBay brand I can just feel it and know what it is it is exclusively mistook and it's 100% acrylic, most of their stuff is. But just this nice little red pullover sweater with these fun, well, I guess you can see it on this side better, little like cuffed, black cuffed sleeves. And it was half of $4.99. All right, that is all from Goodwill. And then I have a couple things. Oh, my pile just collapsed. <laughs> Timber. Okay. Um, I have a couple things from a little charity shop that was next to a Goodwill. And um, I get emails about their sales, and I got an email that they were having half off. So definitely had to stop there. Um, and they carry a lot of like more higher end pieces. So I found a couple really nice things. Oh, you can see the tag. I don't know if I want to show this one because. Uh, <laughs> It's a little honey hole, if, uh, if I might say, but it is a equipment size large tiger print silk blouse. Again, super fun spring colors. And this one was $8, so I paid $4 for this, which is crazy. I need to go to the store more often, especially when they have half off. I would pay $8 for that all day. Um, okay, again, another piece from there, it is a Vince size medium, this is like a little tweed coat, a little like button up black coat, in super great condition, I don't know what this is made out of, it's just a cotton blend, but in excellent condition. You can just tell by the tag that this was rarely worn. It's still crispy. So this will do good. Probably around like the 40 to $50 mark. This was on their clearance rack. So I don't even know if I got half off this or if it was just the price marked. Um, did I even say how much I paid for this? No. <laughs> you can tell I've been talking for too long because I'm like, I'm messing up. <laughs> so it was $12. I paid $6 half off. I need to drink more coffee. Okay. Um, this is a brand new Pilcro and the letterpress. Anthropology. Little denim. All the buttons are undone, so this is really not doing it justice. But it's a button down, kind of like cargo dress. It's this nice like eggplanty purple color and still has the anthropology tags on it. It was originally $150 on sale for $99.95. And I'm not sure if I paid $8 or $4 for this, but either way, definitely worth it. This will be good. And it has pockets. All right, last thing from that store. I only got a couple things because that was my last stop of the day. It was definitely 
probably better in the morning, but it was kind of far away from me, so. These are so cute. <laughs> okay, these are oop, Jeffrey Campbell, adorable, like new, little embellished flats. I love these. They're so cute. They're size eight and a half, and I paid half of $10, but they are honestly in amazing condition. Like the insoles look like they were like not, never touched. I don't know. I love these. They're very cute. All right. That is everything I got from half off day. I think I'm definitely going to start doing this once a month because it was worth it. And it was kind of fun just to like drive around and thrift by myself. <laughs> it's kind of like thrift therapy sometimes, but um, the stores can get a little wild on half off day, but I got there when they opened at 7.30 and just went thrifting until about like 3.30 and I'm really excited about what I got. So I think I'm going to start doing this at least once a month um, just to get some extra inventory that's easy and fun for me to list. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and an amazing week of sales. Until next time. Bye guys. Thank you.